1962 is a, a great time period to set this story in because it's a time when people's views on the government and the world around them were changing so drastically. There was a, a just a sharp turn where people started to develop a distrust of what they were told. The Cuban Missile Crisis, it was Kennedy and the kind of loss of innocence that was around his assassination and around the civil rights movement. So to come in with this story here, which is this secret war that was entirely covered up, kind of perfect for this sort of conspiracy story and this struggle to fight back this alien invasion before it really takes hold. The story through any game is going to change throughout the process of making it. From 2010 to 2013, it was kind of knocked down to the ground and built back up at a structural level several times. But what has stayed the same is largely the characters. Carter has always been part of the story. He's always been our main character. It's a very personal story. Uh, we're, we're telling the story of Carter's emotional arc throughout this invasion, getting into his head and seeing how he reacts to the events going on around him, to how they impact him personally and his past has been really my favorite person. He's got a lot of troubles as, when we meet him and really hit this place where he's a very relatable person, probably the, the most character-focused game that I've ever worked on. The way we work here at 2K Marin is really a collaboration. Ideas can come from anywhere and then somebody will run with it, get really invested in it, and other people will pick it up. So if somebody, you know, if a level designer has a really great idea for a visual story or you know, something inside of his level, then you know, a narrative designer can pick it up and run with it and loop in an artist that'll make some cool art for it. So it's, it's really back and forth. It's always a challenge to balance player freedom and story and you know the, the big bombastic set pieces we want to do, but we need to keep the action going, we need to you know, keep the big set pieces there, but we need to have them mean something to this character and the characters around him. So it's a very organic process. There's a little bit of everybody in this game, as there should be in every part of it, kind of come together to, to make a really unique experience. Our 2013 story is really unique to this game, this version and this expression of it that we've made. The Bureau XCOM Declassified is out August 20th in North America on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC, and out August 23rd everywhere else. <laughs>